Hello guys, welcome back to Card Hacks. I'm Edward Santos. Today we are going to look at Global Mapper. These are all in one GIS application from Blue Marble uh, Geographics, having nice user interface, very easy to understand and very easy. Today we are going to look at how you can create a digital elevation model, export it for use in other softwares. Other softwares that I mean here is majorly Civil 3D. I've already opened the software, the application is running and we'll quickly go to the functions. The software has a simple interface that is at a main a menu. On top of it, the, where the cursor is, is where you have the license, the registration of the software that you've installed. Then on the menu, we have this where you open the files that you have used. That's where you download your online resource data, that is online map data. That is where a uh, command for saving. The map layout editor. If you are configuring the settings of your mapper tools, then overall overlay control. So as you go through each, you realize they have just made all this in one place in easy to use interface. So let's go directly to download a map. So this right now your computer must be connected, and uh, because you want to create a digital elevation model, that is them file, uh, we are going to need an elevation data and uh, at the same time we need we need a topographical map so we'll start with the first one which is a topographical map world topo map i'll connect to it and connect now it will go to the internet download the world map just downloaded and uh, global mapper has this function that when you want to zoom, you see it is active here. There is a shortcut of alternate plus Z command. I won't use that. I want you to see this feature of dragging and creating a box. Then it do zooms into that area. You drag, and then you create a box. Then you get into the area. Yeah. What also you should note is that we are using UTM 36 South WGS 84 as our reference mapping. So always ensure that that one is as per the area you're using. So it's asking you draw feature is nearly close. Will that to create an area feature or a line? Yes, it's to create an area. So we want to create an area. Then we give it that name we get given Kisumu. Kisumu County. Kisumu County. Feature. It is a. Um, it is a county. Enter or a new or choose an existing learning. So this created feature. Okay. Then okay. So this is our boundary done. Using that command of create line or area trace mode. Shift select. So that is what we've bound. So when we come to the map and select terrain data, it said we want to do a worldwide elevation using one arc second resolution and then we select entire data source bounds this one will give us the entire world map but what we want to do here is just to to restrict to the source download within current currently selected polygon Doing this is going to download only for the Kisumu County, which you want to do. Selected that. Done. Now you see it has only done for that area, so that it's very critical doing that because it will help you and also will help your RAM. Your computer will be very thankful. Because it is going to download only the data that you are 
compressing it. There's no need of downloading uh, data for the entire want file you want to use for a small area. Same this one, content interval 50, that is too much. Let's give it one meter. So you usually check on this so that it starts with the minimum elevation instead of the first interval. So it's generating contrast. But on also it will just take a short period of time. Because we have I guess a small area. We should have had a bigger area can take like forever now this one can take first one Is already created so I'll just zoom in to show you the contours generated now what we'll do we'll come to the files export option and there is option for export elevation grid format click on that so then file option so okay then we specify I want to save it now what I'm go name uh, this is like Sumo, Sumo County. Now, uh, tiling. Leave us a display as per the default settings. Then say OK. For vertical units, this is in decimeters. Let's just use the meters, vertical units, so that uh, that one is easier uh, as a standard. Say OK. Then specify we want to keep it. I'll just save it some some of them file and save it. Give it time as it exports. Done. And there we have your digital elevation model for, uh, file created. Now we are going to close the global mapper. So it's still saving what we have done. I want to close it so that I open out of it. I want to open uh, CO3D 2020. It's loading right now. So, I want to put surface from a demo file. We we'll click on that. Then we select our file that we have created, save the desktop. Open it. And it will be reading the points directly from uh, the file we have done. Zoom extent. Now this is our custom font done now on the map. On the civil 3 d Our custom account is here done. All the all the services are done. Just to confirm that it is done, when you move your cursor, you'll always realize that uh, a Z will be appearing. That is an ugly indication that uh, already you have it. You have it. You have done it correctly. Whenever you move your, uh, you move the cursor within the bounds of the boundary we had created. You see. So that is how it is done. So this file, I can use it to do a lot of activities now. With the AutoCAD, I, I want to. I'll create an alignment. I can do a profile with it. So for example, let's create a, let's do an alignment. Just want to do a random alignment. Randomly. Okay. 
Let's call it railway. Center line, okay. We want to search for the interior site. I'm not giving the site the name, but uh, for, for first, select the layer. Rail is here. Okay. Just want to do two fixed points. Cutting across Sumo County. Okay. Enter. Time. Good uh, surface profile. Is the railway? That is it. Ninety one. That is that is it. So let's just add it. Then draw the profile. Let us where to do it. But this is a very expensive data. So we do profile view. Next. Yeah. This one to this thing. Automatic. New one is that eleven thirty four, maximum fifteen, so we we'll leave it to an automatic so that it detects on its own. It. Specify it. Origin. So, it's so a very expensive data. Remember, we've just done a cross section almost through, throughout the Kisumu County. So, you zoom it in, change it to and then it's showing you the OGL. So, from the first point all the way. Now, this is something you can edit as you wish. But it's uh, basically that's how you work with the global mapper to create a digital elevation model file which when you export to civil 3d you can use it to create your your profiles and do your preliminary designs preliminary drawings uh, etc even the upper planning you can do that with it so the goal to create a dem file is in, is made simple using the global mapper, which is a simplified uh, all-in-one GIS tool, which I highly recommend. So, guys, if you like this kind of content, kindly subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification anytime I post this kind of videos. Love to see them. See you in the next video. Bye.